I am just pushing out the content for y'all. Hello, everybody. My name is Christina, a.k.a. the Cherokee Gypsy, and I'd like to welcome y'all back to my channel. Um, sorry, I've been eating peanuts. Um, I am going to do a Walmart haul. Uh, me and Michael went to Walmart, and there is a bunch of things that I'd like to show y'all. Um... I'm going to keep this happy, positive, and simple. Um, all my any new subbies, hello and welcome. Um, I am hoping that y'all enjoy this haul. Um, either way, um, I know there are a lot of you that do. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, i seen that y'all really enjoyed um, a, a bunch of y'all that... Um, I am close with on YouTube. Y'all enjoyed my first impressions, and I'm so glad that y'all liked it. I'm going to actually do a full face, um, because someone special asked me to do a full face using the uh, Fenty Galaxy palette, so I'm going to be doing a full face uh, using, a full look using the palette, instead of me just using that blue eyeshadow on my eye. <laughs> But I ended up blending it real well. Um, that Maybelline setting powder, I absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get started. So, we went to Walmart. And um, first, I'm going to so show y'all some shirts that we got. <laughs> so, oh yeah, by the way, I took all my makeup off, done had a shower. This is a second video in one day. Can y'all believe that? Doing I'm just pumping out the content because a lot of you inspire me too. So let's, like I said, here we go. <laughs> Woo! Stuff's like falling everywhere. All right. So first, Lord, Michael just like wad stuff up. All right. So for, what the heck? That's a polo shirt, babe. Oh, that, that's my shirt. What? <laughs> he said that's his shirt. Whoops, it was in the pile. All right, first, I got me a shirt since it's going to be winter and uh, it's cold outside. Actually, here in Tennessee, it is pretty damn cold right now. Um, and I seen, I love uh, rock bands. I love classic rock. That's some of my favorite music. And um, I seen an ACDC like, flannel shirt and I really wanted it. So, I got it. Here it is. Oh my gosh, it's so badass. So, it's a black flannel with ACDC on it. I got it in a size medium because I don't like my shirts to be big on me because I'm a woman. I like them to fit me real tight, you know. But, um, it's got ACDC on it and on it it says, Back in Black 1980s Us Tour with the American Flag. I thought that was really, really cool, and it's long sleeve and a flannel, so I will definitely be wearing that. Michael tried to say when he got it for me, he was like, are you sure you're going to wear it? And I was like, yeah, why wouldn't I wear it, you know? Um, <laughs> he's a trip. Of course I'm going to wear it, especially since it's black. My whole freaking wardrobe pretty much is black. Um, okay, so next... This is a shirt that Michael got, and I really love it. We love Pink Floyd. Like I said, we love classic rock. Um, I was born in the wrong generation. I should have been born in the 60s. Lena Del Rey is like my soul sister, and I feel the exact same way she does. Um, so, Michael found this shirt, this Pink Floyd shirt, and it is like three-quarter inch sleeve. And it says Pink Floyd with the astronaut. And it says the dark side of the moon. It is absolutely dope. Look at that. I mean, the Pink Floyd with the astronaut, I think that is super tight. Me and Michael love our classic rock bands, especially Pink Floyd, Def Leppard, ACDC. Um, who else do we like? We love alternative, too, like Alice in Chains, Typo Negative, um... Tool, we love all the Slipknot, we love all those uh, bands. They are some of the best. We don't really listen to new age music because nothing compares to older music. Nothing, like nothing at all. So yeah, I thought this Pink Floyd shirt was pretty tight and Michael picked it out. And next, sorry y'all, I'm in my pajamas. 
I hope y'all don't mind that I'm in my pajamas. Um, next, Michael and me got matching shirts. So, we're obsessed with skulls. I'm obsessed with skulls. That's why, I like, when Walmart uh, has all their Halloween decorations out and they have this huge sale, like, right after Halloween where everything's, like, 70% off, I go and get all kinds of stuff to decorate my camper with. And uh, so, me and Michael got matching shirts. Look at this. Walmart has really moved up in the clothes department. I mean, with everything. They carry a lot of good stuff now. So, Michael got, it is a green skull with smoke. Like, that is so dope. That is so us. So, he got his, and then I got mine in a small, because I like mine to really be tight and fit me. So, here's mine. Isn't it badass? I freaking love it. I want to put it on. Let's put it on and do the rest of the video with me having it on. What do y'all think? I think so. Everything's always black for me. Okay. Woohoo. So, what do y'all think? Oh, I think it's badass, which I wouldn't double wear another shirt under it, but I think it is super dope. I love skulls. Um, anything, like, I'm just a morbid person, like, you would think, because I'm so bubbly, that I am, like, glitter and rainbows, but really, I'm, like, the queen of the darkness, I'm down with the darkness, I love anything that's, like, dark, I love reading, like, twisted books, twisted movies, um, you know, that's just a little glimpse into, really, who I am, Maybe that's why I choose to stay inside and be by myself instead of being out there with all these people that know nothing about me and understand me. I feel like a lot of you do understand me and that's why I'm always myself in my videos. Next, so I showed y'all the shirts. Um, Next, <laughs> I needed some panties, okay? So, you know, panties, if y'all think about it, panties are actually really expensive. To get like a pack of panties for women, it's like 15 or 12 to 15 dollars. And it's like, I ain't got no 15 dollars to spend on no panties. I'll just wear the same old raggedy ones that I've had for years. I mean, panties are really expensive. So, I got the Nobo Lace Cheeky Low Rise. And I actually got a pair on, but I'm not going to show y'all that. But I got these. And, um, so, they come in a five-pack, I think, and I got some blue. I like cheekies. I don't wear thongs. I feel like it's unsanitary to wear thongs because, like, a string is, like, rubbing your butt and your, your vagina all day long when you walk back and forth. Rent, 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 rent. I just... It's a preference, okay? But I'm not knocking anybody who wears them, um... I'm just being honest to who I am. I like boy shorts and like cheekies. So I got blue. I love this orange. I got orange. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. Um, I got hot pink, which hot pink is one of my favorite colors. Woo, look at them. Those are super cute. And then best of all, my favorite color in the entire world. I got some black ones. Look at those black ones. They are so sexy. These are probably my favorite ones because they are black. So, yeah, I got some panties. Um, I'm not going to go through Michael's. <laughs> Michael needed some draws, too, but I'm not going to go through there and just pull his draws out and show y'all. But for y'all's men, Hanes has got some new uh, boxer briefs where they're called X Temp. It adapts to your temperature and activity. Active cool stretch cotton moves with you. It's cooling, wicking, lightweight. It's got feel fresh all day, fresh IQ, advanced odor protection technology. So they feel really good. They're super soft. Um, and Michael likes boxer briefs, which I feel like if I was a dude, I'd wear them too. Boxers, I just feel like their junk would just like be hanging all day. And I just don't feel like that would be comfortable if I was a man. So yeah, Michael got him some underwear. Next, Michael, it's so funny because I show Michael stuff too. Just because I know y'all have hubbies and old men's, uh, old men's, 
hubbies and boyfriends too and maybe I could suggest something you know so Michael loves the Dove men's care like body wash so he got the Dove men care cool fresh invigorating scent micro moisture body and face wash he likes the three in ones where he can just roop, 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 and go you know which if I was a dude I'd be the same way but I'm a female and it takes me forever to take a shower like I take like hour showers <laughs> I know, it's terrible, but I have to shave, like I have to shave every time I take a shower. I'm just OCD, I don't like to feel stubble rub against my pants, it really bothers me. Oh, and it smells so good. Oh, the smell of a man. The smell of a man. The, 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 the smell of a man who takes care of himself. There's nothing better. I swear. And Michael takes care of himself. He got a haircut, by the way, but he won't get in the camera and show y'all. He won't. He won't come say hi, which I wish he would. Next, um, y'all know that my face has cleared up. Um, I really don't suffer from acne anymore. Um, I get my couple little comedone bumps, but for the most part is I like to dedicate my almost clear face to my African black soap. If you, for any new subscribers that I have, if you have oily acne prone skin and you suffer from acne, this is the answer to your prayers. This is the African Black Soap Bar. It is a natural, <clears throat> organic soap that is made especially for blemish-prone skin. Okay? Even on the back, like it tells you, our story. Sophie Tucker started selling Shea Nuts at the Village Market in Bonfin, Sierra Leone in 1912. By age 19, the widowed mother of four was selling Shea Butter, African Black Soap, and her homemade hair and skin preparations all over the countryside. Sophie Tucker was our grandmother, and Shea Moisture is her legacy. Though... Through community commerce, you help empower disadvantaged women to realize a brighter, healthier future. So, it's certified organic and natural, fair trade, family owned and operated, ethically traded, certified corporation. Um, I am supporting minorities by purchasing this African black soap. The lady who started this brand was an African American woman. And when you buy this, you are supporting their brand. And I support their brand because this stuff has helped my face tremendously. So I'm all about empowerment for disadvantaged women. Next, I got... So, I love the brand Hard Candy, and this was actually stuck up in the makeup somewhere, and I, like, picked it up. It was in the wrong place, and I picked it up, and I was like, ooh, I want that. So, this is by Hard Candy, and this is called their Soft Glide Long Wear Eyeliner, Stroke of Gorgeous. It's chrome, and it's hot pants, in the shade of hot pants. Let's go ahead and swatch it. This is a eyeliner that's chrome and it's hot pink so I seen it and I was like ooh and I like hard candy so let's go ahead and swatch it real quick here's the tip of it so how do you sharpen it then I want to know how you sharpen it soft glide long wear eyeliner so, it is beautiful, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to mess with the tip much, but look at that. For an eyeliner, girl, put that in the bottom. Oh, my gosh. It would be so badass. I am so happy to have this. But, I need y'all's recommendations. I need y'all to tell me something. So, I was trying to find, like, Shannon, if you're watching, I was trying to find a sharpener. For my L'Oreal Still Kissing Me uh, eyeliner pencil, I was looking for a sharpener for it. Like, there's supposed to be a specific sharpener. I need that. Like, do y'all know where to get it? Because Walmart didn't have a sharpener by itself for me to buy, but I need one. So, if y'all have any recommendations where to get sharpeners for these kind of eyeliners. Not the pencil, but it's like they're plastic or something. And I need a specific sharpener for these types of eyeliners so I can continue to use them. Them. But yeah, that's beautiful. It's a chrome shade hot pink 
Silky Eyeliner by Hard Candy called Stroke of Gorgeous. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm excited to have that. Next, Michael is like a fanatic over toothpaste. I've shown y'all hauls where we have, show, you know, toothpaste. Michael loves trying out different toothpaste. So, we got the Crest 3D White Luxe uh, Diamond Strong, which I'm sure a lot of y'all have used this toothpaste. It really whitens your teeth and strengthens your enamel. So, I can't wait to use that too. Next, Michael got me something. So, L'Oreal sent me some uh, samples um, of their Revitalift Triple Power Deep Acting Moisturizer. And where is it at? So, I have like, it was like numbered for days. It's called the Revitalift Challenge. And like, it's got all these right here with intensive anti-aging moisturizer use am and pm and it's like numbered like the days and i'm supposed to like do this use these for so many days until they're used up and then like post my picture on instagram and tag revitalive to show them if it really works like for any fine lines on my head or you know under my eyes so um i really liked it i've used three of them so far and I decided just to get the full size of it, of the L'Oreal Revitalift Triple Power Deep Acting Moisturizer. Repairs wrinkles, refirms, redensify, hydrolauric acid, prolyxylene. I'm looking at the ingredients and... I do not see anything that clogs pores, but a lot of the stuff you can't pronounce, but it's got mica in it, but um, it's not like breaking me out, and actually I like the way it feels on my skin, so I just got the full size of it and can't wait to use it, and it's the exact same thing as this. You use it day and night. I'm going to use these, and then I'm going to use this, but I'm going to use these continuously and then post on my Instagram what it's done to my face. So far, I do like it. So yeah, I decided to get the full size of that moisturizer. Like I said, I don't discriminate. I like drugstore and high end. As long as I use my African black soap, my face does not break out. Thank goodness. All right, and last but not least, the main thing that I wanted to show y'all that I saved for last so, y'all know I love Big Buddha as a brand, like my purses, like I've showed y'all, like my tan, like my bone colored Big Buddha. Walmart actually carries this brand. Big Buddha is a brand out of California and they have their own store called Big Buddha with all these beautiful purses, everything that's like my style. Well, the Walmart where I live is... It actually carries Big Buddha uh, products, and now they got sunglasses, wallets, and some of the baddest purses that are so me. They, like, scream my name when I see them. So, this purse was on sale. Um, it was $40 at first, of course. And they had a black one. Oh, that's the back. Look at this, y'all. They had a black one and a pink one. And this pink, it's it's soft and fuzzy. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? And the chain. And it's got the big Buddha like my black purse I showed y'all. And it's originally uh, $40. But the brand Big Buddha, I love this brand. It's Love Big Live Buddha is what it's called. So this is my new purse. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, y'all. Shout out to my baby for getting me a badass purse. I wanted this purse. There was a black and there's this pink one. And I was like, well, which one should I get? And Michael was like, try something different. Everything's black that you own. So get the pink one. So he got me the pink one and I am in love. And now my big, big furry ball, my big fox fur ball. Now look at this. Look at that. We 
with my big old fox fur ball on it. Oh my gosh, I am freaking in love. Like, look. Oh. Oh, I just sat, my, my knee just sat on a freaking tack. So look. I think this purse is stunning. And look with my big, huge fox fur ball on it. Ooh, I cannot wait to slay with it, y'all. I am so excited. And then with my new wallet, too. I'm about to, like, switch and, like, put my new wallet in here. So, yeah, that was my... Y'all can't even see my face. Sorry. So, that was my Walmart haul. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to take this paper out now, and I'm going to get everything set up so I can switch purses. I needed a new purse, and I am so excited to be carrying this. Usually, I carry really big purses because I carry, like, my whole freaking house, but I decided to try something different and get this beautiful big Buddha purse that is, it's so soft. It's, uh, what's this, what's this, uh, material called, babe? Not lace, but... Velvet, it's like pink velvet. Oh my gosh, like look at the material. It's so soft. It's got the Big Buddha zipper, Big Buddha tag, and the little infamous Big Buddha thing that hangs on all my purses that I have. So, I think this is my fourth Big Buddha purse that I have, but I, the first one I got, I can't find it. Babe, I know I had another Big Buddha purse. And I don't know what I did. It Did I trade it with somebody? I'm not sure. Anyways, that's the end of my Walmart haul. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. I love you all. And it's nothing but positive vibes from here. Um, I really enjoy the feedback that I get. And I really hope that y'all continue to support me and be my friend. Because... It means more than anything to me. Um, to the ones that have been there with me since day one, y'all are the real MVPs. Thank y'all so much for watching. Sweet Tea in Small Town, Mary Had a Little Glam, uh, Shelly, Brittany Parks, all of y'all. Uh, I love y'all. And uh, Nene, every single one of y'all, Shannon, Tiffany, that always support me and my channel. I always do the same for y'all, and I just want to give y'all a shout out. Thank y'all so much. My giveaway is still going on until November 9th. Make sure you go to my giveaway video, click the link, and enter, and I will see y'all in my next video. I hope y'all are enjoying all this content. It makes me happy, and it inspires me when I know that a lot of y'all enjoy what I post. So, I will see y'all next time, and I love y'all so much. Bye!